Another day, another kit, of course. We've got the blue away kit from, I think it's 2018 on right now. I've got all the kits in 2018. A little bit of a Grimsby sweat that year. That was my prime season ticket year where I made every game and was obsessed with them, as I still am now, as I'm obsessed with getting the form switched on as it was last time out, even further today, though. I want 15 points from 15. I want to get in them playoffs. <laughs> As yes, people, welcome back to the penultimate episode of season number five. This is episode number nine here of this Grim's Bitter Glory on the MWS channel. As always, if you're new around here, however, we are going to start by saying watch the previous ones before this one so you know what to expect being caught up here. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here on the race to 8.3. We stuck around the 8.2.2 mark if that makes any sense, but, of course, I know your support is extremely appreciated. You guys that are subscribed, I never give you enough credit. Thank you very much for tuning in day in, day out. Leave a like if you're excited, as we've got an exciting game up first. You can see, spoiler alerts, we are joint with Preston in the playoff position, so we're actually up there, as the games today aren't easy as well, even though I do want all the points. Last episode was brilliant, four wins or should I say five wins out of six. The only team in the playoffs, we lost her. As we've got Norwich City first at home, followed up by Oxford. The same week away from home, we're going to be playing Norwich. As then we have the Derby after that. Both at New BP, these games that we're going to be playing. As then we have Bournemouth, who were up there. Birmingham. And I don't think we get on to West Brom. I think we might have to sim Derby Day this time around, you know. Because Birmingham are in the chase but of course it all depends who's up there at the time we play them i don't know the form of the brummies as victor gokeres is now back in training okay gonna stay calm as a lot of players wanting to play this next game could take a while i'm not going to guarantee any game time i know what you can do this isn't about you john i'm sorry to say that it hurts to say that as uh, it's not all about you dominic ball as well as cookie you've got a place in the team he was sensational last episode out with that Bullet header as well from Alex Moore. Hard to pick other midfielders over them too, as I think, with actually no changes because this team's been winning. And look! New in-game faces! New in-game faces! Duncan Watmore's got one. Victor Gioqueras has a new one. I kind of prefer his old one. Uh, Josh Eccles has a new in-game face. Anyone else? Yes, Ryan Alsop. Seems like championship players, apart from Matty Pollock, has a... Uh, had them done. Louis Coyle doesn't as well. That's quite interesting. I like the look of that. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing we'll see some new faces from other players as well in today's episode as we're going to bring another player onto that bench. We're going to go ahead and do that for the changes. Add Coxie to the bench, but Cullen's playing beautifully at the moment as Ryan Alsop is in goal with James Bree, Matty Pollock, Lindsay, Godwin and Coyle. Stay ahead of Scales and um, Gleno. As Alex Moore and Reggie Cook in the midfield with Reggie Stone in front. It's actually Regan Cook. Never mind. With Liam Cullen up front alongside new signing. Or oh, relatively new. He's been here seven games now. Ben Wayne starts up top. The New Zealand international is playing very well at the moment. As can he propel us to a huge win against the Canaries who we struggle to beat. Be an interesting one this at home as we're going to take a look at their lineup, Norwich City. They've got Adam Ida up front with Milot Rajica, Marcelino Nunez, who actually is a Norwich City player in real life. He's got the kit on right now. As Gabriel Sara, Tony Springit, Jacob Sorensen, Eric Otiendo at the back with Joaquin Carrizo. They've got Fabricio Carmona, Sam Byram. And Angus Gunn. Very nice lineup. Josh Meijer rested for this one. Todd Cantwell as well. For an important game, rested some players. Does this give us a chance? Really hoping it can do as James Bree with a tackle straight away. He's going to leg it forward up the field straight into Liam Cullen. As Cullen takes a bit of a sidestep into Reggie Stone. Early lead. Oh, good save from Gunn. It was a good little move, however, from us as Reggie Stone. With the chance to cross it, he's got some decent power on that one. 
Looking for his man, Liam Lindsay. Can't reach him. It's always him going for the headers. As this is good passing, Alex Moa. And what another good save. That is from the keeper. Oh, two big chances to start us off with. We're taking the game to them, even though we're at home. As that looks a decent ball towards Lindsay and Kent. Angus Cunn with a triple. As Angus Gunn is his name. I just can't believe he saved that. As now we've got to try and do a better corner, I think. We're going to go uh, with the edge of the run. Edge of the run? Edge of the box run. Because that's where all the players are. Is Lindsay going for it again? Might fall to Matty Pollock. Headed into Ben Wayne. Charging for it. That looked a foul on someone as oh. Cookie wide. What a scramble that is. As oh, easy win right there for Godwin. Just steals the ball away from his man a little bit. As here's Reggie Stone. He's going to look out wide into Louis Coyle, who tried to pass it through his man. Ben Wayne could not get there as well. As Angus Gunn whacks it forward. Henrique, we beat him to the header. Straight into Ben Wayne. Straight around the corner into Liam Cullen. Just over the bar. Unlucky from us. As now here is Regan Cook again. He just can't get his pass through the man, however. And we chase him back on it again. That's a good one too around the corner. And a good pass through on to Adam Ida. Oh, lads. In a game as big as this one, Ryan Alsop, he pulls an absolute clanger out. That looked down the middle to me. Shocking keeping. But equally, say shocking defending, but look at that. Both players not close enough. And yeah, for me, you've got to save that. It's not cornered. It's just slightly off to the side. Positioning, I think, let him down a bit. You can see the focus is on him with the camera. I think the camera crew think it might be down to him. That's a shocking start off the back of four successive wins. We now find ourselves behind. We've been so good defensively. And goal scoring, yes, we've not been the greatest. We've won a couple of games 1-0, which doesn't help my chances here. Heads firmly need to get back onto this now as Reagan Cook round the corner. Here is Reg out to Louis Coyle. If could instantly level this, it would be brilliant. In towards Ben Wayne. A slip in the box from someone, but they have managed to get it out and they're going over the top. Louis Coyle needs to shuffle across. Of course, don't want to drag any defenders out. Godwin's got to watch this running behind him as he tries to get there, but still can't. Eventually does again, however. Into Ryan Alsop just to dink that over the top. James Bree, how are we letting him get to it first? Shot comes in. Easy block. Quite poor from us as here is Cookie with the ball down the line into Cullen. Now this is Reggie Stone. He's going to find the ball out to Bree again here. Needs to improve on his defensive error just there. Puts it across the box. Didn't look bad. Falls to Alex Moore. Possible last chance here for us in this half. As Alex Moore with the ball here. Into Cullen. Who's going to thread it out wide for Bree. If he can drag that back. Which he does across to Ben Wayne. Who loves a goal before half time. He did it against Stoke. He's done it against Norwich. He's actually quite tired at the moment as well. But he's got himself a goal. A lot of players are at the break. As that's broken Angus' gun's good form in this game. No clean sheet for him. And we march on. As what we don't want to do. We do not want to keep it like... It was previously where uh, Swansea came back and we've been absolutely petrified at the start of second halves. That changes here. Now into the second half here as a ball. Edge of the box. It's slotted into Adam Ida. This is what I was just talking about. We don't want it. Cut it out of the game. So I'm going to put Glenno on fitness straight away in this second half. It seems that we need it especially as this is a game we really don't want to lose as well as they've won the header. Bouncing around in our area. Need to try and get this out. Edge of the box now. A runner onto it. And put wide. Sorensen was the man to miss. But again, way too easy for him. So that's a good pass straight off the bat from Cookie. Just complete praise for him all the time. As that's a good ball through the middle onto Ben Wayne. And a runner alongside him. It's Liam Cullen going through. He's going to power this one. Oh, he's missed it. What are you doing? What are you playing at? As I've took Ben Wayne off because... Yes, he's the goal scorer. Yes, he's playing well, but he's absolutely shattered as Coxie come on. And Alex Moore to go for the shot from range. Trying to test Gunn again. Trying to actually get his boys back up for it a little bit. As I need James Brees runs again. They were brilliant in the first half as he looks like he's going to make one here. Can he put a crossing like he did for Moore previously? He tried to towards Coxie. Reggie with the header down into Alex as we've got the ball here. Bree out wide. Can dink that into the box for Coxie again. I tell you what, he's got a good whip on him. He just needs a taller striker. A Giocares, maybe. They've got to run down this wing. They've beaten James Bree hands down. 
into the middle. Cookie, that's your man to mark, mate. As they've stood off a little bit and also up with a big save. One that we needed. Not a good clearance, however. They're all on side. And what a save once more. Telling us to put Godwin on, but I can't afford that. Not a youngster in this one, I'm sorry. As I think I'm going to put Eccles on for Bree. Give him a rest, because the way he's played, we definitely need him for next game. But he also needs a rest, because Oxford's at the weekend away from home. Travelling, of course, down south. As now we need to read this one, Alex Moore. Perfect. This is Josh Eccles with the ball through the middle onto Cookie. Now into Eccles as Cullen gets this ball back to him. Can we try and find a gap? Seize that gap, Coxie. We're going to look for you over the top. Can he reach this? No, he just can't as it's almost full time. I mean, a draw against Norwich City, who are, of course, sitting comfortably in the playoffs and have done all season, isn't a bad result. Again, I think their goal was undeserved and shouldn't have gone in so I think it should be three points for us but the form continues if we can hold on here because they've beaten Pollockans down they've got a pass into the middle they've got another pass around us they've got another pass in the middle and they've won it never mind everything I just said because Lars Sorensen has won the Canaries the game terrible defending we just let them waltz through us and that's a defeat. In a game as important as this one, to lose it, horrific. Absolutely horrific. Just blasted into Allsop's top corner. That is one he can't save, but the defending has got to be better. We lose at home. And that, I tell you what, is a absolutely monumental block. I'm not going to get too carried away with it, but in the grand scheme of things, that's a horrific game to lose in that fashion as well. Really, that, that was a six-pointer for the playoffs, and we've lost it. Ninth in the league. It takes us down a couple of spots. I think we're still in the chase as a Birmingham, so I think that might be the played game over Hull. We're one point off of them, but that game could have done a huge favour for ourselves. Could have done a huge, because second place is kind of up for grabs, and we play them today, Bournemouth. What an interesting game that is going to be. Do you all still want to be comfortable here against... Um, What's the faces? Oxford. Sorry, kind of forgot about them. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. So I'm going to change Sophia up. Ball comes on the benches. Eccles is going to play wing back. Scales comes into the mix. In the centre. Everyone's got two star weak foot. I need a five star weak foot defender for the middle. Gleno's back in. Uh, Cox is back up front. Wayne's in because, of course, Gokera's recovering, but still not back. And I don't know about Sidey completely. I haven't heard from his um, injury um, report for ages as Oxford's a little bit tired as well. Simulated game. Can we get the win against the struggling O's? We do. A 3-1 away from home. Javi Cuteo for them. Or Cueto. Red, Red... Not Reg. Regan Cook with the double for us. I'll just call him Cookie. Coxie and Cookie as Alex Moore with the rounder-upper. As Louis Coyle threatening us about game time even though... He did play the game before. He's getting a bit on my nerves at the moment. So I'm glad Dominic Ball's 100%. Again, I'll say that to him. Don't think he's um, really getting near the squad. Like the first team 11. As we've got the derby up next. And you can see where we sit. One point off of the playoffs. There's goal differences. Getting up there a bit more. It's getting up there. The one nils. The, the one increase every single time is not doing us too bad. But Birmingham are up there as well. I'll say I'll think about it's Liam Cullen. He'll probably come in. Birmingham are in a brilliant spot. I'm thinking it might be a simmable derby day, you know. I really do. I really think it might be the simmable derby day as we've got a fully fit team as well, so I can kind of risk it. Scales comes out for Lindsay at the back. Coyle's not coming back in. I might have switched him back in, but I'm not anymore. Eccles will unfortunately come out for James Bree. He's going back in. And that is the team. Ben Wayne now up to a 75 rating. Brilliant to see. Good squad. Very, very good squad. Good tactics and everything. Hull should be scared. As how's it going to go? We're at new BP for this one. They've got Cider Mesh up front, of course. They've got two fans starting. Greaves and Elder at the back. As a 2-2 drop. I mean, for a simulated game, I think I will take it. Of course, it's not a win, and we're into the latter stages of the season, but for a simulated derby, not getting beat is a big plus, as Alex Moore got a goal to start where he left off. Javier Simmons for them. Zem Wayne did miss a penalty, but it looks like Godwin might have put it in three minutes later from a scramble, 
And Aliyah got one very late on to keep them gaining a point. But, happy with it. Take it. It leaves two big games to go. And the gap still won. Six left of the season. But I don't care. Is Adam Lloyd and Callum Willis asking for promotion to the first team? I think Callum does. He's been kind of pushed back a little bit. But he definitely um, warrants it as Lloyd. Oh, I, I don't think he doesn't. I don't think he does, should I say. The age... It was a decent age, but not going to promote him as the board's happy with Willis. I actually think I've done him quite wrong, because 65 rated's quite good, and he should have been in the squad earlier. Still 17-year-old. Good potential. Definitely won't be starting in this next one, however, because we have Bournemouth. What a huge one this is going to be, as I'm going to say I was impressed, son, from you in the academy, as we've got to put an impressive team out for this one. Is Jokeres back? He is. He's going to be amongst the substitutes, not straight into a winning team, or not a winning team, but an unbeaten team. And a, on the whole, apart from Norwich City, a good playing team at the moment. I think Reagan Cook has had a huge impact on this squad, as he's going to be just ready. And Ben Wayne, of course, he's had an impact. Not scoring as many goals, but when I say that, we haven't been scoring on the whole as many as usual, but he's, he's got a few. And he's got a few good ones, as Marcelino Nunez, recognise him as one of them, Gerard Moreno. Up for our player of the uh, month. And Sheffield United, I don't think we've played just yet as well. So, Bournemouth. These are on 79 points. They were close to us at one point. I think that closeness has died down. Yeah, I think we're challenging for playoffs. Definitely not automatics anymore. I think Brighton's basically already won the league. Seven point gap. Let's see how we can do. Can we get into the promised land for the first time this season. The trip to the Vitality as their team, Alexander Slurloth up front. What a player. We're already being haunted by a Sorensen. Can a Slurloth do the damage? As Marcus Tavernier's in that lineup as well. Jaden Anthony, David Brooks, Santi Comensania with Aaron Meyer. What a player he is. Greg Taylor, Yerai in the defence with Miguel Borges or Borges, Roberto Carrizo, some good youngsters there. And David Soria, back in between the sticks on the bench. Baron Texier, uh, Lewis Cook's even good in his own right. Sebastiano Esposito, Norbert Neto. What a squad. So let's see how we can do for ourselves. As uh, Reggie Stone, straight into Lindsay. Now on to Matty Pollock. He just drifts out wide to give it into James Bree. And Pollock with it again. Running through the middle. You can see they're putting the press on. I think this is an important game for them as well. Norwich City are five points off of them. We've kind of done Norwich a favour in getting close. So they'll hold a grudge between us. Just got to play as normal game at the moment. I think we've been good um, on the whole as a defensive unit. Some lapses in concentration. Some big errors. But on the whole, I'd say I'm impressed. As they've got a shot coming in from range and also Just to parry that one. Not a convincing save, but I'll take it. He's kept it out. That's all we need for this game as a ball down the line into James Bree. He loves making that run, but he's going to cut back and give it into Reggie Stone. Now Regan Cook through the middle onto Cullen. That's round the corner. Not really got an option in the centre, however, as Bree is going to run round the houses and give it into Reggie Stone. Now there's a chance out wide here. Which we do get. Cullen with a glancer. Almost to Ben Wayne. That was a close one. Unlucky from us as Cookie round the corner. That's into Alex Mowat. As Mowat's going to look for the run of Cookie as well here. Flicked backwards into James Bree through that gap. Now forwards into Liam Cullen. Finds Ben Wayne. Good chest. Oh, it's just wide. That was a huge chance, you know. Just wide of that post of Soria's. Chance and a half as David Brooks running down this wing. Anthony Glennon does what he does best. Tracking his man and then getting a bit of a sprint down this wing. Putting a shift in there, isn't he? As he's got a very good running style. I think he'd be lengthy if he were in Ultimate Team. As this is a good move from Reggie Stone. Just can't break away from their very decent defence. Still forcing them to go long because we're putting some good pressure on here. James Bree with a good win as he's going to whip a ball in. And that's to Gleno at the back post. Just didn't want to lose it really as Cookie. Oh, if that pass went through. Fortunate as we still do have his unit at the back, however. That's good as players know defence is important in this one. As we're just watching that run, it's gone through into the middle onto Marcus Tavernier. He's got movers all around him as Allsop saves down low rather easily as that is half-time. I think we've had the best chance of the game through Ben Wayne not taking it. 
Level at the break with Bournemouth, which wouldn't be the worst, but wouldn't be the best in terms of how late on in the season it now is. And again, flashbacks to season number two, isn't it? Where we weren't near the playoffs at all. We were bottom half of the table for a long time. Got in them playoffs, won them. Back-to-back -back promotions, and now we're here as um, Gleno to keep this ball into Alex Moore. That's gone through, actually. Good ball. Now Cookie to thread that out wide into James Bree to whip that one in towards a man. Whoever it would have fallen to us. Cookie winning a beautiful header there into Cullen. Reggie Stone with a gap. Best chance so far for us. It's time to take Ben Wayne off of Gioqueres. I think he is tired and due a rest. Maybe there'll be a partners at uh, Birmingham. I don't know just yet. I'm just going to make sure he gets a rest as we're going to whip this ball in towards the box. Reggie Stone, enough power on that one. Looks decent. Good header off the line. Rising like salmons as a ball into the middle here. Comensania now around the corner. He's got it back in the defence and he's got a shot from range. It's gone in. It's gone in. How's that gone in? Arnie Meyer, I mean, he's a quality player. But we've, again, not deserved to go behind. It's when we play the good teams, we don't get the results. The German with an out curler into the side netting. That is just a quality strike, though, isn't it? Behind against Bournemouth. You might have heard of that historic game where it was to survive in League 2. Bournemouth against Grimsby. We lost it. Bournemouth won. They went on their surge to the Premier League. And we was in non-league, so it kind of doomed us. What could have been, eh? Has now Cookie with the ball in the centre of the park. On towards Reggie Stone. Can't run through, players. Unfortunate, but can we get straight back into this? Cookie, that's a flick on. Now it's into Reggie Stone himself and a good shot. Still not going in. We'll get Coxie on now. Corners have been good for us so far in this game, apart from the fact that they haven't gone in the back of the net. Can we get one to work here? Stone to whip it in. That was going straight towards Godwin, wasn't it? Header one from Cookie, who's just on the edge of the box, sweeping everything up. As now it's out wide. Can we get it across again? We try to. Cookie again on it. Jokeres finding a bit of a gap. Here he is. What a save. What a save. That is, it's telling us to put John on now. I'm not going to do it. I just think if we keep going the way we are, we might get something. That's towards Godwin again. Not won it. So unfortunate as last couple of minutes. Get that pass off. There we go. Lindsay out to Bree. That's good passing in confined spaces. As now Regan, Regan, I'm calling him the wrong name now. Reggie Stone, dip that over the top. Was a decent one. And yet again, another corner. I can't take Cookie off. I'm not going to make any more changes. I think we're doing brilliantly. Please don't be close to the keeper. It isn't, and it looks decent. Cookie takes a chest and a hit at it himself from range there. Falls out to a player who tries to get the cross into the box. Just keep the pressure on, boys. Team press it as Gioqueres threw onto Cookie. Can't get the shot off. Still separated by a quality strike as we won the ball. We've won it upfield again, but Gioqueres can't keep hold of that one, and we've lost it. Not added... Uh, too much time onto this game, I don't think, anyway, because there's not really been stoppages. Three added minutes is enough, though, when we have the ball. Alex Moore onto Gioqueres. Here's Coxie. He needs more support. Go out wide here into Anthony Glennon. This will be a last chance, whipping it in. Definite handball. Nothing given as he's overrun it, and that's the game. Oh, we should have took a point from it, at least. Bournemouth beat us in their own backyard. Arnie Meyer, a quality player for them with a quality strike. Birmingham's a six-pointer, a nine-pointer, a 15-pointer. It's 10th in the league at the moment, and you can see the two points behind us. It is now four points. Oh, dear, that was a horrific defeat to take. That was horrific, because before we played Birmingham, maybe um, a bit weird to do at this moment in time, but I'm going to check who else we play. We've got the Baggies, Middlesbrough, Brighton. And Portsmouth after that. We're going to save all them for the next episode. We are just going to play Birmingham and round out today. Because I feel like this could be the gap. The mini gap that we just need. And of course we can play a couple of games tomorrow. As captain say, we're not playing Louis Coyle. Fix up your contract. I'm going to say focus on your football. You're not in the starting eleven at the moment. You've got to break into it at the end of this season. You've found yourselves in a tricky position now, aren't you? As we're going to make some changes. You can see Cox is going to operate in. Gokeras has gone down two. To 77, but he's going to start in this game alongside Ben Wayne. Want that partnership to work. And can it happen? 
at home. We're at home for this Birmingham game. Let's make the home advantage count. <laughs> New Blundell Park here needs to be rocking as I almost forgot about showing you their team. I always like to scout them out as Franco Fangundias is still up front. Josh Andrews behind him with Ben Wiles, Jordan James and Alfie Chang. In the midfield with Maxime Bastian. They've got Mitchell Roberts, Nico Gordon, Alejandro Figueroa and Jordan Graham. He's still going at right wing back with Fabijan uh, Buntic up, up top in goal, I should say. Well, it's up top with however you look at the lineup. I mean, it's up top to our goalkeeper looking over the top. It looks like they've gone for a, a big priority on youth that is already at the club as well, which is, I mean, quality to see. The academy working that hard for them as they've got a ball through the middle straight away and a flick on. Try to read that one, should be our ball. I was correct as James Bree. Oh, Bree, what are you doing? They've gifted them a chance as Lindsay comes across to make a tackle. Doesn't win that slide. And also with a fantastic save. That's what he just needed to do against Adam Ida's shot in the first game today. Oh, well, we just don't dwell on it, I guess, as that ball's going to be whipped in and a decent block because they've got a decent header on it and we've got a decent pass away as well. Alex Moore. Looking over the top for Ben Wayne. Get that pace going. Go on, mate. Hey, we're trying. That's unfortunate as here's Reg. Ball through the center. This is Ben Wayne looking over the top for Gyokeras. Partnering up. I'm hoping for something special with them two up top. As we're going to have to chase them down a little bit here. It's gone through the middle onto Jordan James. Now over the top. Header one from our man. And a pass through the middle. Reggie Stone on this again. He's going to look out wide into Ben Wayne. He's got the overlap of Glenno. Come on. Can we whip a decent ball in here? That's good for Gyokeras. But again, we're always beaten to it. Good header. Here's Cookie. Oh, what a save. What a shot, I've got to say. As Reggie's got injured in the build-up, though. McAtee is going to have to come on, of course, which is never a shame. But with Reggie being an important player to us, it's not great. Ben Wayne, a striker, taking the corner. As it wasn't a good one. He was unlucky with that one as Duncan Watmore considering retirement as that's a ball slipped in. Get your head out of the graphics, Max, and focus on the game as we've got a corner, Birmingham. Uh, the second of the game and they had a really big chance from the first one as the mic from the second. Good block right there from us, number 15 as it's round the corner. Still the moves on. Oh, and what a block in the centre as well as Glenno's got an injury. Second of the game. That's not great as Gyokera is to pass it off into James Bree. I see Ben Wayne's run. And what a ball from James Bree into the path of Ben Wayne to put it in the back of the net. What a ball I've got to add again, I've got to say it. James Bree takes most credit for me. Was straight over there in the celebrations as look at those fans. I'm going to get Glenna off for scales. Make that change as what a blast into the side netting as well. He had a lot to do and he did it well. But the ball was the most important. Grimsby Town 1, Birmingham City 0. Hopefully going into break with that one because they've dominated us on possession. They've actually took the game to us. But we've come out on top which is the usual theme in this game. More possession. You don't take your chances which is a weird thing. I, I, I don't get it as that is... The first half over, we take that 1-0 win. Of course, if we can still get it, we've still got this half to go, but like I said, it's about grinding results out at the moment, whatever the scoreline is. I um, apologise to the fans if this isn't the most entertaining in terms of them fans in the stadium. I think it is. Winning games, however you win them, is entertainment. And of course, playoff football would be good. Fun as Bree with a whipped in ball. Looking for Gyokeres as we head that down back into him. Good couple of touches. Can't get his strike off, but Cookie will go for it. And it falls to Moat with a dodgy touch. Falls over. No foul. Kind of hoping we get one there as Godwin with a beautiful read of the ball. Into Scales, who's got some scaling to do out on this left-hand side here. As he gets the ball over the top into him. I see the run through the middle of Cookie. Doesn't go to him, though. Gyokeres heading it down towards McAtee. As John stings the gloves of the keeper and a chance to whip it in again. Buntic with a good save and that's a good corner near post. Headed away, Scales tries to jump for that one, doesn't win it. McAtee backwards onto Cookie as now Victor Gyokeres, Vic with the back heel. And we're going to in-swing it across the ground and it doesn't work for us. A chest down into Alex Moore. Now John McAtee who's going to take another shot on. Testing the keeper at least. Just need to keep doing that as here he is again. 
Can he get a ball forward? Not really. It's Cookie. He gives you that wide into James Bree. And James Bree over the top. Ben Wayne. Cookie to take it down. Header it out wide. That's a decent whipped in ball. Just doesn't fall to us. Speaking of standing, we've got to be resolute at the back here. Because it's Bastian running forward. One of the youngsters. We're getting goal side well here with James Bree. He can do his defensive duties as well as his crosses. As it's in now to Cookie. It's now through the middle onto John McAtee. Get running, Bree. You're an outlet. I know you should be defending at the moment, but you are there for us to run with. As now through the middle onto McAtee. Ben Wayne's in front of him. He's still going as... There's no one there. There's no one there, Ben. That was a bit of a weird choice from me especially as McAtee won the ball, however. Onto Victor Gyorkeres and wide. Almost game over here and it looks like we might be getting this victory. As it stands at a time, is the only thing standing in our way as it's one added minute. Which is weird because we've had some injuries, but then again they were first half, weren't they? Let's get a tackle in there, that's beautiful from Lindsay. I thought he'd given the foul there, but he's actually blown up. Yes, 1-0, just the one goal, but a win it is. Not scoring double figures a lot at the moment, but we're grinding them out. What's it do for the league? We won't be in the playoffs, but he's still four points. Still four points, which isn't good. It isn't good. 20 wins this season. We need a reward for 20 wins in the championship. And that's playoff football. We don't play any of them apart from... Well, I say any of them. We play two of them. West Brom and Brighton. And then we have also Middlesbrough. And who else was it? Portsmouth. And was it just the four games? To be fair, in the last episode, we could just fit all four games in. And have the roundup. And see how we do as Registone five days, Glenno five days. They're not bad ones. They're not bad at all. As we could end today out by looking at contracts. As I think it's just the usual suspects in terms of it. It is. Duncan Watmore re retiring actually. He is retiring. Jasper Moon's moving on. Jaheim. Don't know what's going to happen. Louis Coyle. I don't know what's going to happen. Decent play but 31 could potentially bring better players in. As the players returning, Harry and Jordan, JMD... The OGs not doing too well out on loan as we're going to look at as loan players. That's not the way to look. It's the squad hub that is. Anyone doing decent? Bobby Dennis, 68 rated. Not bad. Not huge, but not bad. Uh, Cookie's gone up to 74 for us. That's brilliant. Scott Powell, 70, uh, 67. Not bad at all as well as Ewan Pratt slacking off a little bit. I think he's alone to buy actually. As Bryn Powell, 63. Slack in off. A little bit. But then again, Goodwin's not really done well since he's come back. And he's a mainstay at the moment, isn't he? Due to the injury crisis. As thank you guys for watching this episode right here. Don't forget, as always, to like, comment, share and subscribe. With the notification bell on down below in the description. So you don't miss an episode in the future. As that has been it from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys. In a bit. And peace.